Hey everyone, if you love learning new techniques, then this is the video for you. I'm going to show you how to combine two techniques to create a beautiful eye-catching friendship card idea. For one of my techniques, I'm going to be using the floral gallery dies, but you can use any word dies that you have on hand. The second technique will show you how to add color to your card background. Shall we get started? Hi, I'm Terry from NutsAboutStamping.com. I love sharing techniques and project ideas for rubber stamping, paper crafting, and scrapbooking with you each week. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you'll be the first to be notified when my next video goes live. Speaking of videos, watch all the way through this one for my bonus tips and design ideas. Now, let's have some fun with these two techniques. I want to start off by using a piece of watercolor paper to create that colorful background that I was talking about during my intro. I'm going to tuck a piece of grid paper underneath it and a paper towel and then the watercolor paper on top. And this is going to be a layer on the card. Now I have taken one of our Stampin' Spritzers and inside it, inside the barrel, I added some water and then I added several drops of Highland Heather ink. Now Highland Heather ink is a quite a light ink. So depending on the darkness that you want for your project, you may want to add more drops of Highland Heather reinker than I did. But again, it's your personal taste. I'm gonna take off the lid. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the barrel above this layer and I am going to spritz color all over this layer. I think the fun part about this technique is that each time you do it, your background will look different than the time before. So you can add as much color or as little color as you want, and you can make it as dark or as light as you want. Now, because this is watercolor paper, it's going to have to set, you're gonna to have to set it aside to dry for a little bit. So what I did before the video began is I created a, a separate layer, and this is the one I'm going to use on my card. You can see that the Highland Heather ink is quite light, and I love it because you can almost see some blue tones as well as the purple tones that, you know, when the color separated when I added water, and I think that's a really neat touch to the card. So to that, I am going to layer a piece of Highland Heather next. So I'll attach these together. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna set this aside for a bit. Now the next thing I want to do is use my floral gallery dies. And in that pack of dies, there's a phrase that says, just want to say. So what we're going to do is we're going to die cut out three of these phrases, and then I'm going to show you a really cool thing to do with them. I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock. This is actually a thicker cardstock that we sell, and I had some of it lying around and I thought it was time to use it up. So what you want are three pieces of very vanilla cardstock. And on one of those pieces, you want to attach a piece of our adhesive sheets to the back of it. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that now, like so. Now, what you want to do is take the die and you want to use your stamp and cut and emboss machine and you want to die cut three of the phrases out, one of them which has the adhesive sheet on the back. So I will stop the video, I'll go ahead and I'll die cut the three pieces out, and then I'll come back and show you what to do with them. There we go, I have my three phrases. This is the phrase that has the adhesive sheet on the back, so I'm going to slide that out of the way for a minute. And I'm going to bring in my silicone sheet here and my multi-purpose liquid glue. And what I want to do is I want to glue these words one on top of the other. So what we are creating here is a layered look, and that's gonna add some really cool visual interest 
to your card. So I'll go ahead and adhere the first two together and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. There we go. I have the two layers adhered together and it's starting to sort of give a little bit of height and a little bit of thickness. And now guess what? Yep, I'm going to take this layer that has the adhesive sheet on the back and I'm going to adhere the ones that I just completed on top so that on the back of the bottom layer is the adhesive sheet. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll come back and I'll show you what three layers looks like. There we go. I have all of the layers adhered together and it makes this really thick layer and I think it's gonna be really neat on the card. So let's go ahead and apply them to the card. So I've got this um, piece ready from when I sprayed it last night and then layered it to the Highland Heather. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to adhere this layer to my card base, which is going to be very vanilla. So I have that set up and ready to go. And I'll go ahead and adhere this layer to the card base. And then I will add my phrase. Now the nice part about this is I will be able to peel off the backing with the adhesive sheet and I'll be able to apply it directly to my card and I don't need to use any more adhesive because this is all set up and ready to go. It's just a matter of peel and stick. And look at that, it's just got such beautiful height I wish that you could touch it. And you know, this is the first time I've ever done this technique. And as I was putting this, the, the phrase on the card, I went back to the one, the layer that I created um, for you on this video. And I think maybe more coverage on the watercolor paper might look a little bit nicer than less coverage. I would love to know what you think. Leave me a comment in the description box below and let me know. And now it's time to start talking about embellishments. There are many possibilities for embellishments on this card. One of my New Year's resolutions was to use up my embellishments before I can buy any new ones. So I have these glossy dots, I think that's what they're called, um, and I have a lot of them left. And so I'm going to stick to my New Year's resolution and use them up, even though they're retired. What you can do on this card is if you have um, clear or shiny sequins, those would look really pretty on this card as well. Or maybe something that's tiny that has sort of the Highland Heather tone to it. So what I'm going to do as well is something that's very unusual for me. I normally add three, maybe five embellishments on my cards. But on this one, I'm going to use up a lot of dots, not just because I want to, but I think it'll make this card really pretty. So I'm going to use both sizes and I am just going to pepper them all over my card. If you love learning new techniques, why don't you try watching this video next? Now, here we go. I've got my card done and boy, does it sparkle and shine. If you would like a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurements for the layers, I will leave a link to my blog post in the description box under this video. And hey, if there is a special technique that you would like me to make a video on, leave me a comment and let me know and I'd be happy to give it a try. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. I hope you'll try this floral gallery stacked dies technique someday soon. Bye for now.